Hello guys, Career 43 here. Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. In the last episode, we dueled Bones and got our first locator card. And this episode, I said we were gonna duel Bakora, but uh, I sort of changed my mind. Now, as you can see, I made major changes to this deck. Used to have some pretty shitty monsters in it, but now it's a lot better. So yeah, um, yeah, it's, it used to be really shitty before, but yeah. So um, we're supposed to go um this way, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Now uh, instead we want to go to the card shop first. So um. We got this guy here, and he'll sell us cards for our domino. This is the only thing you use domino on in the game. And, um, you know, there's there are good deals. Like, um, there, there are lots of reasonable prices. I mean, at least it's not like in Rashid's Destruction. Oh my god, those prices are fucking unreasonable as hell. That's not why I found sound as, um, you know, excited in this episode. It's just I'm a little tired. My Mega Zowler. I pulled that in my Joey's World opening. Um. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. So yeah, you can buy cards here. Um. There's a bunch of shit here. Um, you can also, s yeah, I'm just gonna do that, you can also sell your cards, um, I have like four, oh wait, no, I, I had like 40 Yamis before, but I sold, see, I have like 23 stop defense, because I dueled bones a shit ton of times, and this is one of the cards you can get from me. I also have 23, um, snake hairs, I have 26 dragon zombies, 26 clown zombies, and... 40 armed zombies, that's the card I got most from Bones. And yeah, I can just sell anything. Um, in Rashifa Destruction, however, this changes because you can't sell a card if you only have one copy of it. By the way, I never sell Skull Servant. But, um, anyway, you might be wondering what this, m m bleh, what this machine is here. This is the password machine. And you might be wondering what is a password. Well, basically, a password is the four-digit code, uh, oh no, not four-digit, eight-digit code on a card. So, um, I'm just going to show you an example. Uh, here, let me just uh, find something. Um, I'm going to use this Axe Raider as an example. Got him in Joey's world. Uh, anyway, his password is... Let's see. Four, eight, three. I'm just gonna move over one. Four, five, three, six, and then five. And I got axe raider. A wild and primitive warrior that arms itself with an axe. It meets out the powerful blows by swinging its axe in one, in one hand. Yeah, I think that says meats. Um, this doesn't cost money, by the way. Rashifa Destruction costs a thousand, I don't know, which is a fucking ripoff. You still have to buy the card, um, by the way, if you enter into the passcode machine. So you don't get the card for free. But that's that's more so of a problem in Rashifa Destruction, where you have to pay to do the thing anyway. Anyway, you talk to this guy. Our storage room is down there. All our merchandise is down there. You can't go in. Uh, we will be going in there later, just for spoilers. Um, don't try to duel this person, they will never ever duel you, even though they say, even though she says she's still improving your deck. Anyway, this guy will duel you, however. I'm just gonna anti my snake here. Sorry, I sped up. Again, I'm gonna try not to make a habit of that. So, um, I should say something about my deck. And if I had to say anything about it, it's that I'm putting mostly cards that I like in it. Like, I'm uh, keeping the Wandering Doomed, because... He's awesome, in my opinion. Some of you guys might not think he is. 
And um, Blue Eyes White Dragon because who doesn't like Blue Eyes White Dragon? Megasonic Eye because YOLO. No, not really. But I, I, just, I like him. Um, I, don't, I don't really know why, but I, I just do. Some of the monsters in this deck I just don't even have a reason to like. I just do. Sandstone's not a permanent fix, by the way. Thing that hides in the mud. I like him. He's a cool guy. Yeah, it's just an example of how um, monsters will always attack when they're able. Oh, Trihorn Dragon, because he's cool. Oh, we went we went on a picnic once. And um, he took me with his buddy, Black Dragon Jungle King. He's actually his um, younger brother. Uh, it was pretty cool. We, we, um, after we ate, we, um, you know, um, we just, uh, watched the clouds. Okay, no, that never actually happened, but still. I like thinking that happened. Anyway, um, remember that guy for later, just saying. Well, anyway, you can talk. You can talk to that. Uh, you can talk to this guy now if you really want to. I'm not gonna do that right away though. So uh, we have this guy here. F you, F you, F you. Don't think that you can beat me. Oh, this is not Esperoba, by the way. This is his younger brother. Best music in the game. Ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if anyone actually heard me there. But anyway, I've already, I've already um expressed how much I love this music. I mean, seriously, this is just like, this music sounds awesome, I'll just, here, turn it up a little bit, because I don't know if you guys can actually hear it, and I would like you guys to be able to, because why, because why the hell not? Also, the battery life is like, Halfway gone, and I haven't even record, and I haven't re even recorded since like the last week. I don't know. Gee. Okay. Okay. You got Sanga the Thunder. I like saying Sanga. That's why I was sort of stuttering there a little bit. Powerful deity that represents the element of thunder. They can join Kazuji and Sujin and become a gate guardian. Man, I'm just getting a lot of Joey's World cards in, in this game right now. I mean, seriously, I got Ancient Tool in the first episode, this guy. Wah, big brother, I'm getting my big brother to beat on you. Uh, and no, we're not fighting Esperoba yet, there's one more, there's this guy. Yes, 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 you, I don't think he beat me, but I will. It's his turn. Also, um, got Mechanical Chaser, cause, I like him. Anyway, I got Soul of the Pier, which is, gives 2,000 life points. The maximum amount of life points you can have in this game is 9, is 9,999. So, um, you don't really need to play what I did at the start of the duel, but you can of course, if like you feel like you're at a disadvantage later on, you can do it. Also, tenderness for the win. However, um, I think I might take out tenderness just because it will give me a dis it will be at a disadvantage later on, and you'll and we'll get into that later. But for now, not really so much. Anyway, um, tribute tenderness. Um, Leo Wizard, he's not permanent effects either, by the way. So yeah, I did actually a lot of grinding off screen. Like, I haven't recorded this in freaking weeks, to be honest. I draw two cards, also I put on Feather Dust, Harpy Feather Duster, because it's good. I pulled that in Joey's World, too. I don't know if I'm uploading that before this, but, you know, just if you didn't see that. It's like Kappa, traditional, I'm not going to read that. Big brother, I'm telling my big brother. Okay, now we're fighting Esperoba. PVV, you dare to pick on my little brothers, but this is as far as you go. 
Nobody can beat my psychic powers. Yeah, my big brother's psychic deck is the best. It's the ultimate. Yeah. And, um, no, he does not run psychic monsters. The fact that I'm going to rule over all the duels, well, it's a law that holds for the entire universe. If you're going to run, now's the time. I'm going to put my locator cards on the line. But two, I'll see you out of this tournament. That will be punishment for picking on my brothers. I'm gonna make a safe state. F you, F you, how foolish of you. PPP, I shall win. Alright, here we go. Get an anti snake here. Starting off the duel with, um, fucking Esperoba. He's gonna be playing a lot of Thunder Monsters. So, Earth Monsters will screw this guy over. So, yeah, if you love screwing your opponents over, then good. Run Earth Monsters. But, I don't need to because my monsters are overpowered. Like I said, I love getting very overpowered very fast. So Muka Muka. Oh shit. He has like, I think a few wind monsters. See, Hain Hain likes screwing over my earth monsters cause, just because. Okay, the inexperienced spy is sort of useless. It's good for him. But it shows me, it shows him every card in, in my hand. So, um... Not only does he know what my cards are, but it also means that I can't activate my monster effects because they have to be face down. Anyway, that's it. We have defeated Esperoba. Deck pass increased by 30, 80 Domino, and Jinzo, which is his strongest card. And Jinzo can destroy all trap cards on the opponent's field. What? I lost? I don't believe it. How could I lose? And there goes Esperoba. And he gave us a low care card without even being here. Um. Yeah. That's that. Um. Oh wait. Um. I guess to end this episode, we can just go duel with Korra. Wait, did I duel this guy? Oh, I did. Um. The little guys will not let you in, by the way. Hey, well, let's duel with Korra. Okay, sure. Let me try out my game plan. I forgot to um, read what he says because I actually don't get what he says if you don't choose to duel him. Anyway, some tenderness. Turn to tributes good. Make sure I have at least two of those in your deck. Because turn to tribute OP. Also, um, should mention. There is a limit on the number of cards you can have, uh, on like, uh, on a few cards you can have in your deck. Put those on screen right now, if I can fit them. I probably can. You know, th there aren't that many, there's, there's a few limited cards and one semi-limited card. I know it's weird, only one semi-limited card, semi-limited card. But yeah, that, that's the Duel of Akora. Next pass to by 5, and you have Support Secret. I feel like I always get that from him. I don't know about you guys, but that's just me. Ark, I guess I need to prepare a bit better. After all, you've been winning your way up. I, I'd have to put more thought into my deck. Yep, I guess so. Anyway, um, we took down Esperoba and Vakora and show off the card shop. I think we're good to end things off here. So next time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Cards, we're going to be fighting Rex Raptor. And we are going to be finding out the mystery of the card shop. See you guys then. Oh, and we're going to be fighting Yu-Gi, if we can. Anyway, see you guys next time.